Friends, this is a Solenopsis Germita Queen. They are commonly known as the Tropical Fire. And look how beautiful she is. She is a fully claustral queen, which means she will not have to forage for food during the founding stage of the colony. A large gaster will provide the nutrition that is needed in the early stages. The queen has laid her eggs. Look how carefully she is taking care of her eggs. In good conditions, a fire ant queen can lay up to 1600 eggs per day, and she can live up to 7 years. Oh, she is trying to grab all the eggs on her jaws and carry them away. Perhaps she is disturbed by the bright light. The fire ant colony is now on full rise. Look at all these larvae. How fast they have grown. The larvae that come out from the unfertilized eggs will become winged males. While the larvae that come out from fertilized eggs will become female workers. These female workers can either be winged virgin queens or normal fire ant workers. Look at this one with a big head. He is a major. He is usually bigger in size than the rest of the minor workers. After the larva stage, the next stage is a pupa stage. Unlike many other ants, fire ants larvae do not form cocoon, and the pupae are white and naked. During the pupa stage, the ant develop limbs, mandibles, and segmented body parts. By the end of their pupal stage, fully grown ants emerge. The one with slightly yellowish color is a newly hatched adult ant. The fire ants colony can grow rapidly. And they are very ferocious in protecting the nest. They usually attack by using their jaws for grip and then they sting repeatedly using their venomous sting. The Venom of fire ants consists of, of toxic alkaloid called selenopsin, which can cause deadly allergies in many people. In fact many deaths are reported annually around the world due to fire ants sting. The fire ants are omnivorous, and so they are known to eat food from both plant and animal sources. They don't let go away any chances of having a food. Since the fire ant can grow in numbers very quickly, they usually have very large colonies, which can spread across large areas.